In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to multiply and divide um, numbers that have like bases and what to do with their exponents. So what is a like base? Take a look at my example here. I have two to the fifth power times two to the third power. Notice how I am multiplying these two um, terms that have bases that are the same. Our base in this case is two. So we're, anytime that you are multiplying bases that are identical, we have we can add the exponents together. So notice that my exponents, they're different numbers. That's okay. As long as my bases are the same and I'm multiplying, I can add those two numbers together. So two to the fifth power times two to the third power, all I would do is I would rewrite my base as two and I would add my exponents. So five plus three. So my final answer would be two to the eighth power. Now, sometimes when I am multiplying like bases, um, I will end up with a negative exponent. And if you remember from the powers of 10 section, we talked about that you cannot have a negative exponent and that you have to change it into a sort of a fraction. Just as a reminder, a refresher, let's look at this. Four to the negative third. Notice how negative three, that's a negative exponent. We can't have that. So we're actually gonna rewrite it as one over four to the third power. We're gonna make that exponent positive and put it underneath one. So let's look at five to the negative second power. I would transfer that into one over five squared. And negative three to the negative fourth power, I would change into one over negative three to the fourth power. Notice how I didn't change the negative three in parentheses because that's not the exponent. I'm only making the exponent positive. Okay, now that we know those rules, let's go ahead and let's try some problems. Remember, the rules for multiplying like bases like we just talked about, the bases must be the same number or the same variable. And the operation must be multiplication. If it's anything else, this will not work. So if both one and two are apply, you're going to add both of the exponents together. So let's look at the first example. We have five to the sixth times five to the fourth. My base number is five. Since I have two bases that are identical and I'm multiplying them, my answer is going to be five as my base and I'm gonna add my two exponents. Six plus four is gonna give me 10. So my answer is five to the 10th power. Let's do another one. Notice how I have like bases. My base is three. I'm gonna add my exponents. Now for this one, it's going to be nine plus negative four, like this, nine plus negative four. We talked about this in our integer unit where nine plus a negative is really saying nine minus four, right? That's gonna give us three to the fifth power. Okay, now we're not looking at numbers anymore, we're looking at variables, x. Now x is, um, we have x and we have x, and they're being multiplied, and we know that because of our parentheses. So our base in this case is x. Let's go ahead and add our exponents. We have a four plus negative seven. Now, if you remember correctly, we can't have a negative exponent, but it looks like this is gonna take me down to negative three. So I can't have that, so I'm gonna go ahead and transfer it into one over x to the positive three. Okay, my base in my next one is going to be negative seven. So I'm actually gonna leave it inside the parentheses and I'm gonna go ahead and add my exponents. Negative three plus five is gonna give me two. All right, the next one's kind of tricky. I do have bases that are the same. My base is going to be y, but now I wanna add my exponents. Clearly I have a six on this y, but it's not as clear what is on this y. Anytime you don't have something as your exponent, you can always put a one in its place. So really, we have six plus one is going to give me y to the seventh. All right, using that same technique, notice that the four does not have an exponent, so I'm going to go ahead and replace it with a one. 
All of my bases are the same. I have four, four, and four, and I'm multiplying. So what I want to do is I want to take the one, the five, and the negative two and add them together. So one plus five is six, and six plus negative two is four. So four to the fourth. Okay, now I've made some more complex ones, but you still notice that I'm multiplying two by itself four times. So my base is two. Now, the, two, the first two that I see doesn't have an exponent, so I'm gonna put a one there, and I'm gonna add my exponents. So I have one plus negative 10, that's gonna give me negative nine. Plus three, that's gonna give me negative six, Plus seven is gonna give me one. So I'm gonna say two to the first power. Another way to say that is just two. And my last one, clearly you can see that my base number is negative nine. I'm gonna take my exponents and I'm gonna add them together. So negative three plus seven is gonna give me four. And then four plus negative six is gonna give me negative two. But again, I can't have a negative exponent, so I have to transfer him into one over negative nine with a positive two. Okay, now let's talk about dividing because we've only really talked about multiplying, but this is kind of very similar to what we were just working with. Now the rules here for dividing are First, the bases have to be the same, just like in multiplication. But this time, we're not doing multiplication anymore. We are using division. So when you have like bases and you're dividing, which we can see represented by our fraction bar, then if both one and two of the, these rules apply, what we're gonna do is we're going to subtract the exponents. So let's look at this first one. Notice how I have a five and a five my base is five. So what I'm gonna do now, um, I notice that I'm dividing these. So because I'm dividing and because I have like bases, I'm gonna take my exponents and subtract them. For example, seven minus three. I'm gonna take the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. That's gonna give me five to the fourth power. Okay, the next one, I am dividing like bases my base is negative three. When I'm dividing like bases, I'm going to subtract my exponents. So I'm going to take my nine minus four, and that's going to give me five. Okay, the next one I have a base of six, and I'm dividing so I can subtract my exponents. I'm gonna take 11 minus three. That's gonna give me six to the eighth power. All right, let's look at the next one because it's a little tricky. We have nine is my base. So nine is gonna be my base number. And now I'm going to take four minus negative six. Now careful, four, and it's gonna be minus negative six. And we learned in our first unit that this is a double negative. So really we're adding four plus six. That's gonna give me nine to the 10th power. Okay, the next one, my base is x, and I'm going to subtract them, so 3 minus 8. All right, x to the negative fifth power, but I can't have a negative exponent, so I'm going to transfer that into 1 over x to the fifth power. Okay, another one of those without an exponent, so I'm going to put a 1 there. My base is y, and I'm going to say five minus one is gonna give me four. Again, one without that exponent, so I'm gonna add them in there. So my base is m, one minus four is gonna give me negative three, but I can't have a negative exponent. I have to transfer it into one over m to the third power. And my last one, this is the most challenging one. My base is six, and I wanna say negative two minus negative three. Again, negative two minus negative three, which is going to be a double negative, which is really gonna be negative two plus three. So my answer would be six to the first power, or we can just say six. 
All right. We can use like bases to, um, we can use these rules that we've been learning to evaluate as well. So let's go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and, uh, evaluate these expressions. So again, we have like bases. So my base here is two. And whenever I have like bases and I'm multiplying, I can add the exponents. So negative three, um, plus seven is going to give me four. Now we have to, kind of think back, two to the fourth. Two to the fourth is two times two times two times two, which will give us 16. All right, the next one, I can see that my base number is three and I'm multiplying so I can add the exponents. So I have negative seven plus five is gonna give me negative three. And then I'm gonna add five, that's gonna give me two. So three squared, again, that's gonna be three times three, which is gonna give me a nine. I can also do the same thing with division. My base here is three and I'm dividing, so I can subtract my exponents. Five minus two, that's gonna be three. So that's just another way of saying three times three times three. Well, three times three is nine and nine times three is 27. And my last one, my base is four and I'm dividing. So I can say two minus four is negative two. So I can't have a negative exponent. So I have to transfer it into one over four squared. And I want to evaluate it since the directions say to evaluate. So I'm going to simplify this down to one over four squared. Isn't that going to be four times four? So that's going to be one over 16. Anytime the directions say to evaluate, that means to simplify into its simplest form.